All right, we are on board the Carnival Radiance and we are on deck 10. And so we're gonna give you guys a tour of this balcony room. Let's start out when we walk, this is the front door. I do like this door, it kind of makes you feel like you're at the beach, although there's no ripples in it, it's just kind of smooth. So we're gonna start right here in the bathroom because it's the first thing you run into when you get in here. So this is a pretty nice bathroom. You've got your shower right here. Now, there is a just this curtain here, so there's no, um, you know, glass or door as you can see. And then you've got the adjustable here, and I do like that they have the clothesline here because we do need to dry our swimsuits all the time on there. And then they have the amenities, the shampoo and the shower gel right in there as well. So when you're doing your shower, always remember that <laughs> this is going to blow. A little bit so just kind of know that this is going to be a, a bit of a wet zone when you come out of the shower so make sure you put your towel out and just mind the floor because that's always going to be um kind of a little bit wet the commode is nice because it is at a corner so you've got room on both sides so that's really good and then this counter space is not only is there a lot of counter space here but there's also these two little shelves on each side so you have plenty of space to put all of your things you can put all kinds of stuff there which is amazing and then you've got extra tissue and your trash and toilet paper and all that kind of stuff in here. So this is actually a pretty good bathroom. It's a pretty good size. Like Rob and I can both be in here at the same time and not run into each other. So that's pretty good. So let's head out here and see what else we run into. So we've got, uh, let's see if we can get to this panel. It's just a little um, for your heating and cooling right here. You can manage that on your own right here in the room and then just make it cooler you can see or warmer we're going to keep it cooler even though it is cool outside today a little breezy we are here in long beach california all right next little area is this little kind of sitting area i do love this little table is great because you can sit here and set something here to watch if you want or sit here and work on the computer if you want or whatever you want to do that's a good little area there this um couch is actually not a bed so just as you can see, it's not like I'm 5'4", and my feet would probably hang over the edge if I tried to lay down on there. So it's not super long, so you couldn't use that as a bed. There's a light there. And then, um, well, let's do the bed next. Let's talk about the bed. So here's the a, a little uh, thing about the bed here is that, so you've got the bed here, as you can see, and then this is a quirky place to put the light switch because... You know, at night, you could <laughs> hit that by mistake and turn the lights on in the middle of the night. So not probably my favorite um, placing. I've seen that once before. Um, I think it was on the Carnival Sunshine. They had that also. And thankfully, we were on that one for, I think, a week. And thankfully, we never ended up hitting that button on there. But I am kind of concerned about that a little bit. Now, as you'll note, between the couch and the bed, there is no nightstand on this side of the bed and no outlets anywhere. So we haven't run at any outlets yet. Now, when we get to the other side of the bed here, there is a nightstand on this side, but, and it's got a little door on it that you open. But this nightstand also does not, there's no, no outlet on this side either. So it's, there's not a lot of outlets in here. We're gonna look at the balcony in a minute because that's kind of the, the, the crowning moment of this tour, but you've got three drawers here and you've got this little cabinet here, TV here, which swivels. It is kind of small, but you're not really gonna be watching much TV. Okay, next area here, you got a little vanity area. You got a stool. Okay, and then let's talk about outlets. This is the first time we've run into outlets. We've got two USBs here, okay? And then a light switch for the mirror. And then when we get to this side over here, we've got two 120s. You can also use 110 on there as well. So you've got, if you wanna just plug in individual USB, but we always travel with our um, adapter. If we've got it down in the link, we always use that. It's got four USBs on it and you can still plug in a regular item into it as well. The other thing I think is really amazing, I do like this about Carnival, is that you've got all these QR codes here for various things, for um, safety information, stateroom benefits, and for stateroom cleaning. You're, 
VIB, VIFP, stay connected. And then I think this is the big one. If you've got anyone traveling in your group with food allergies, this is a great one because it will tell you what the different um, allergens are in the foods as you're going around the ship. So that's an important one. And we've got one of us, if you already know that, traveling with food allergies. So that's a great one. I always look for Carnival does a really good job of that. You just scan that and it will tell you what you're looking at. And then also the spa menu. So here we've got three drawers still. So there's a lot of storage space in here. And you've got your ice bucket and your um, phone and all that kind of good stuff and a couple of shelves here. And then we're going to go over to the closet space here. So we've got this here and we've got a mini bar here, but there's nothing in it. We did purchase the six pack from the ship because it was a good deal of the Pepsis. So we have that here. It was delivered here in the stateroom when we got here. And then the rest of this closet, as you can see, we've got two backpacks sitting in here and that's nice and comfy. And then we get into this closet in here and we've got our two big bags down here. But most importantly, look at these babies. We've got our Cloud9 Spa um, robes and this is actually a Cloud9 Spa balcony room um, because the spa is just above us one floor so we can just zip right up there and got our robes with us and we're ready to go so that's really nice to have um, that's going to be really convenient for us <laughs> to have that and then um, we've got a little bit more space over here now this one um, not only do we have our vests in here but then you've got your little your little safe and then you've got a couple more shelves here so there's actually quite a lot of space in this room um, to you know kind of spread out and unpack your things there's lots and lots to do but I know I told you I was going to show you the balcony we better go out there and take a look at it so let's take a look at this balcony like I said we are in Long Beach California and the view from here is absolutely beautiful our first port is going to be Catalina Island so look at this come on up here So we've got a couple of chairs and a little table. They're not attached, so you can move them all around however you like. Now, this one is just a regular stationary chair. This one here leans back some if you like, so you can adjust this one and lean it back a little bit. If you want to lay back a little bit, it can be a little bit more comfortable. So that's really nice. Um, this, I think this is going to be a really good room for us. I'm very excited for sail away because it's going to be so pretty. Um, just looking out here. So be on the lookout for more videos from the Carnival Radiance. Hope you enjoyed this tour.